Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Now today we are going to figure out our topic by picking a quote out of the jar. We don't have a teacher today. I haven't got the teacher audio thing. I will bring that back. It's just that my hard drive is really full at the moment. So I'm having to just improvise temporarily. And yes, we will get back to having a teacher while I shuffle. So let's see what this quote is. And then I'll form the, formulate the topic from the quote. So we've got here, the pessimist complains about the wind. The optimist expects it to change. The realist adjusts the sails. And that's William Arthur Ward. Okay. Hmm. I've got a question here. Are you being overly optimistic? Are you being realistic? Are you being realistic? I prefer that. The pessimist, yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> That's none of us, come on, we're not. None of us on this channel, we're not pessimists, are we? Let's take a look at the realist. I like the realist, let's go into that energy. All right, so are you, are you being realistic? How about that as a topic? Are you being realistic? All right, so we've got our topic. Are you being realistic? And that comes from this quote. Let's do it, let's dive in. Let's see what this is all about. I've just realized that my window in the other room is open and the blinds are making a terrible noise, but I don't think it's coming up on the audio. I think we'll be okay. I went to the other room and I like opened the blind even more and thought I dealt with it but no turns out I didn't deal with it because I can just hear them slamming so it doesn't matter doesn't matter all right so I think I'll draw one from here I love this deck I love the shiny gold foiling anything shiny is wonderful I love things that shine okay all right there we go and we'll have one from here. Whoops. Okay, we'll one, have one from here then. I hope you're having a good week wherever you are. Okay, yes, we'll take that one. That was quick. And we'll have one of these. I'm glad I've got good lighting today. Okay, there we go. Um, hmm, yep, one of these and one of those. All right, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a busy, a busy lineup of cards here. Oh, good. There we go. <laughs> I'll leave this one out of the way. Mm. Oh, I see. We've got that and that. Oh, let's take. Oh gosh, we've got two Chucks Betzano card deck. Okay, right, I'm gonna go with this one. There's two of them. Who knows, I might clarify with the other one. All right, let's see what we've got going on. So the first, I'll organize these as we go. Oh, oh, this is so nice. Chrysanthemum Truth. That is so beautiful. I love the colors. I've got that kind of green and pink type thing. This is green and lilac, purple. Wow. Chrysanthemum truth. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, truth. So what's the topic again? Are you being realistic? Right, well, we've got the truth coming up straight away. Good. <laughs> Gift of freedom, love it. Break away from your attachments. That says, yes. Very colorful. Oh, that's stunning. Okay. Break free. 
and the truth. Look at that. We're off to an incredible start. Golden Palace. Okay. 23, number 5. Mercury speed. Mercury is fast. I always think with Mercury. Mercury is quick, quick thinking, quick witted. Again, we've got this green color that's kind of coming through, but there's this bright burst of color in there. And that feels like that's you, that's your energy. We've got a lot of root chakra, red and golden yellow, which is the third chakra, power, you. You being self-confident. We've also got a lot of yellow there. Golden palace, gold, third chakra. Whoa, Ten of Swords. Gosh, that's a funny Ten of Swords. <laughs> it's a bad hairdo, <laughs> bad hair day. Hmm. So, okay, I'm liking this Ten of Swords because it is something trivial. It's not, you know, this is, this is a bad hair day. It's not like the typical Ten of Swords, which is all these, and this is, they're just, these are just needles or something, you know, hair needles, like, the other one is like swords in someone's back. So this, this is good. <laughs> this is a good ten of swords. I'm getting the feeling we're dealing with something that's annoying or that's been irritating maybe. Are you being realistic? Okay. And something about the realist adjusts the sales. Right. Okay. Are you being realistic? Jonah conspiracy far out this thing just keeps turning up in every deck Has, have all these been in a row I have got to look back over the weeks because we're constantly getting this whole do I go this way or do I go this way oh my goodness do I go green the heart right we've got green and we've got purple blue the mind interesting but we've got so much green on the table even that thing is green there although I think maybe on these cards are they always green at the bottom there let's have a look no they're not they're different colors interesting so we do have a lot of green here so the heart is winning okay you've got to follow your heart that's a big message here what does your heart want? But this is the thing. I think you're questioning the heart because you're going, well, is it realistic? So there is some mind here, but the heart is winning, okay? On the table, you've materialized a lot of heart energy. So this is something about going with your heart, okay? So, and maybe it is realistic to follow your heart, actually. Maybe the mind has been leading you astray this whole time. So let's shuffle on. I want to take a look at the gift of freedom because that looks fantastic. Let's go there. Uh, let's take this deck that I didn't end up shuffling at or using at all. So let's have a look at the gift of freedom. And with this deck, I'm going to have to close my eyes or do something interesting because I can see the colors though it's been a long time since I've used this one I don't know what all the colors mean but what I'll do what I'll do is I will just split the deck and we'll take the bottom one yeah oh wow and it happens to be green is that right no there's two they're both green <laughs> get out all right let's take them good good they're in the right place <laughs> We're in the right place. All right, let's take a look. Uh, what do we have? So let's take this one first. Oh, that's nice. Letting go, healing. Wow. Gosh. And he's taking her with him, but they're letting go of probably whatever's down there. It's a number nine as well. Okay. right gift of freedom see and i'm also getting this thing of like i'm, I'm visualizing this is going to sound really weird but i'm visualizing this as a building on fire 
I don't know why, but it's clearly a hole in the ground. But what the analogy I'm getting is, it's like the building's on fire, what do you take with you? And you take what's most important to you. So like, cause she's holding a picture there and you know how people say that, oh, we'll keep the family photo albums you know, in, in, a, in an easy to access place so that if, if the house is on fire, I'll take the family photo albums with me kind of thing. A lot of people plan for that somehow. Well, I've heard people have anyway. Uh, number nine, letting go, healing. But I mean, what do you take? Look, he's holding her hand. Yeah, you take your people, obviously. <laughs> Um, okay, gift of freedom. Break away from your attachments. Okay, and yet, but yet he's holding the hand of this lady because she's most important to him. So you're you're going to break away from your attachments, but you are going to take what's most important to you with you. Okay, so it's not like it's not like this transformation is so huge that you know you're going to be lost in the new realm no you're not going to be lost in the new realm you're going to have the most important things and people there with you okay let's take a look sometimes you know sometimes we are in situations where like if there's someone that you want to date or something like that but the family doesn't approve and so the family doesn't approve. Let's have a think about this. Because that can be a thing. Like if I follow my heart, my parents aren't going to approve. That could be a job as well. It's like if I start this YouTube channel, my parents won't approve. They want me to do a serious career. That kind of thing. Like, But this is saying that, no, you let go, follow your heart, your family and the important things, they are going to come with you. If not immediately, they will come around. So that could be an important message for someone out there. Wow, leadership healing. This is so beautiful. I love these pictures. 32. Again, 23, 32, 5. It's like, I think the next chapter of yours is going to be fast moving. Okay, I think you're on the brink of it's like there's some little thing that you need to clear but once you do that this whole new world is going to open up to you look at all this far out they were living down there like imagine how grim that would be but then they come up and there's this gorgeous world and not only that but in this gorgeous new world there's flow there's speed. It's like where you were, we're going to dig into this, where you were and where that is, okay, that purple mess there. That was slow and stagnant and you're stuck, but it feels to me like there's just a little bit of work to do or to clear or to, there's a little bit of something left and what's opening up for you is going to be faster, heart-based, fun, more you, all of that. Okay, you're on the brink of something really wonderful. Oh, I'm loving this reading. This is great. Let's take a look and see what was difficult. What was there? Which deck do I want to use? Hmm. I'll use tarot for this. What was happening here? Where were you? Because a lot of you, it's like a lot of you has moved into the heart space. It's like you've packed up your bags and you, you've packed up your life and you're just about to step into this brand new world. And you're taking what's most important with you. That's coming along for the ride. And not only that, but look at that. In this new world, there are a lot more people Look at that, before there's just two people and a photo here and here there's like four people. And I feel like as you flow down this river, you're just gonna pick up more and more soul tribe or good people or whatever it is. You are so on the brink of this. 
And I love that the word leadership and healing has come up here because it's like you're figuring all of this out for yourself. And in you doing that, you'll be able to help a lot of other people figure out the same. This is great. Okay, so let's, let's just investigate because this is probably where a little bit of you is still right now. So let's see. So this little bit of you that is a little bit, a tiny bit in that Ten of Swords energy. Because really, I mean, that's not, as far as Ten of Swords go, that's a comedy Ten of Swords. That's a great one to receive. So it's something small. So where some of your being is slightly in this energy, what more information can we have about that? Okay, let's take a look. Do you know, and while we're at it, we'll get one for this as well, I think. Yeah. I'm so glad I wore these green beads today. <laughs> okay, oh, one. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, wow, heartbreak. Yeah, I think we had that last time. Okay. Five, well, the repetition, we got the same. Yeah, heartbreak. All right. Something didn't work out. And that's okay. There are lots of things, you know, that don't work out, but when you're healed, it's like such things can happen but you're okay, you will recover quicker and your heart will love again and it will, it really will. Sometimes when we're in heartbreak, we, we don't think that we're ever going to get to this again, but we do. We renew, we get, we get to, you know, we, we love again. And it's important for the heart to be strong, to keep going. I'm also getting that line by Rumi. He says, you have to keep breaking your heart until it opens. I really like that. You know, it's good to kind of be fearless and, and give, give your heart again You might think your heart, you won't make it or something, but no, you'll be surprised. It's, it'll be stronger than before. Yeah, I really do believe that. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what this is. I'm kind of asking about this portion, not so much the green. We know that that's the way to go. <laughs> We know that the heart is the way to go. I mean, this whole spread is so green and it's saying go this way. So there's no mystery there, but I wanted to get a, a card to clarify this purple thing. What is it? Okay. This card is overthinking. It's overthinking, over strategizing, over wondering, over looking over you're waiting all the time waiting for a sign or you know where are the ships or looking out to the horizon or it's like maybe you're just in a loop of constantly doing that all the time whereas the thing that's going to make the difference is this guy see here's what's here's what's going to do it <laughs> right we've got here are you being realistic okay so the realist adjusts the sails. So the pessimist complains about the world. The optimist expects it to change. The realist adjusts the sails. So in this situation, how's he going to get there? Well, he's going to pick up one foot and he's going to put it there. Then he's going to pick up the next foot and then he's going to put it there. And then he's going to pick up the other foot and he's going to put it there. Like there is, it's like it's action is needed. You know, action really is needed. And I know with a lot of these card things, 
we sometimes get told, oh, you need to rest. And certainly a lot of my astrology work, I'm very often telling people, you've got to rest. And you know, especially with the monthlies and, and when I do the all signs and all that, there's often a lot of messages coming to say to people to rest. But that's because people are busy and they're overworking and they're not getting enough time for themselves. That's more normal than people being chilled out and go with the flow. But it's really interesting here that, like, I think some of the guidance is that you have, you, have, you have to act, you have to do the stuff. Like, there is that here. That's how this person gets to that place, through the action. Because it feels like the, the time of contemplating is, is done, kind of thing. You've, you've thought long and hard about whatever this is you've thought a lot but I also get the sense you're not you're not in a bad place or any of that no I get I get that let's just explore what's this and we'll have a look at here but I, I really get a sense that your energy is in very good shape and but there's just a little bit of work to be done here so let's take a look at what's going on in these two So the golden palace and the truth. Just had the phrase come into my mind, deep down you know the truth. Deep down everyone knows the truth because deep down is where we're all connected to each other. Oh, that's what deep down's all about. <laughs> deep down is the all is one. Everybody knows, everybody knows the truth. See there's, there's a truth, there's my truth, there's all these truths running around at the moment but you know. But there is also the truth, the one, the one universal truth, which is also could also be called the universe or God or love, even luck sometimes, you know. All right, let's take a look. Uh, Golden Palace. Whoa, Five of Pentacles. That's interesting. That, but you know, I'm getting a really strong feeling from this card because it's kind of like you've done it all, like you've. You've lived in the Golden Palace. You've, you know, maybe stayed in nice hotels, eaten at nice restaurants, been on a nice flight. And equally, though, you've done it rough. You've done it tough. You've had nothing. You've, you know, you've, you've lived with little. But through either experience, you're you and you're you're strong there's so much strength here i'm not getting a bad sense of this at all like when things are lean when times are lean it's actually um i've got the word invigorating coming sort of this is going to sound weird but <laughs> I'm just, oh, let's see if this will come out um it's kind of invigorating and empowering to be strong through the lean times, through the through the dark times, it it enhances your strength and your golden qualities. Weirdly, like a lot of contrast makes that God power within you shine even brighter. You know, um, they they say that there is a noble manner. This is a Seneca quote, there is a noble manner of being poor and those who don't know it will never be rich. And that's what I'm thinking of here, the strength that you gain from, and again, I, I, yeah, I'll just say what I'm like, it, so, it sounds really weird, but like from the strength that you gain from doing poverty well, like I don't mean anyone in any hardship, any, I don't want to take away their uh like difficulty or something no i'm not you know and i'm but i'm kind of trying to say that like you you gain so much more in life from having all the experiences it's so easy to be happy and great in a palace anyone can do that as i was saying 
Anyone can do that. Anyone can be happy in a golden palace. It takes no skill to do that. But the people who live life very skillfully are the ones who are happy in this circumstance here. If you, and these are character building times, you know, these are the times that have made you interesting, that have made you an incredible person. So, yeah, I mean, it feels like you're soon to leave this space and head off into all this wonderfulness, but it's like, don't forget what these times taught you um, because these are the times that made you that have made you someone extra special if you know what I mean I really hope I was able to communicate all those bits without saying the wrong thing or upsetting someone or you know I don't want to do that but I mean you know I because I, I understand like like all this yeah you know I, I I was on like benefits and stuff when I was a kid and like I had to work hard and I was on scholarship I was very lucky you know if I wasn't I don't know how I would have done life um yeah and like coming to this country and like earning like hardly anything and uh, I've got stories like this everybody does you know um everybody does so yeah and like but yeah through it all I've learned to just kind of eh, let go you know let go and let God let God take over because God will do it better than me um, and that is that is a truth that I have discovered let's have a look at this truth card all right we've got destiny come up again I always, I always think this is a destiny card um, but it's really interesting that it's like so the wheel is turning and at each turn of the wheel, we we experience something new. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not good. We don't know. Let's draw one more. Let's let's see what comes after this card. Oh, let's take them. All right. <laughs> There's a new beginning, so that's good. Okay, yeah, got a lot of yellow, got a confident you, you're listening to music, it looks like you're having a good time. What's behind it? Wow, the King of Swords, great card. Yeah, it's like you're sharper than ever. And it's a King card, it's a, it's a really good card to get here. It's like... This transformation that you're going through is going to take you up a level in life for sure and these cards honestly just popped out I had no idea like it's yeah you saw <laughs> you see me shuffle great I really love these cards these are great because the truth is look and I mean the other thing that this is indicating is a strong mind so as much as this is asking you to be in your heart and be in the fields and go with the flow and all that kind of thing that flow here and all that look the truth of it is you're a bit of a mind person okay like <laughs> the mind is your domain and it but it's like if you honor the heart a little bit even your mind will improve like you become sharper and smarter and you know there are new realms you can explore within your mind But it's like, if you only work the mind all the time and there's no heart in your life, no love in your life, that, that just gets kind of dark, really, you know. Um, whereas if you're balanced, if you, if you enjoy what the heart has to offer, it's like your whole health and whole well-being will improve. We've also got these three butterflies here. We've got these two birds. This is really nice. It's a wonderful scene. 
And this is you being in charge, you being in command, you being in control, feeling more in charge of your own life, feeling closer to working with destiny, you know. It's amazing. Amazing energy here, guys. I almost don't want to stop this reading. Oh, it's interesting. We've got all the fixed signs here. I never noticed that before. That's interesting. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what that means. Well, we might have some people here with the, with the fixed signs. So that is... Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. All right, let's take a look at some quotes, I think. So are you being realistic? Let's answer the question. <laughs> I think you are. I think you are, and I think that you're just about to adjust the sails or put one foot in front of the other or, you know, do something. I think that's great. Whoops. Oh, sorry if I screwed up the audio. I just realized that the microphone was touching the camera handle. All right. Let's take a couple of these and then I'm going to wrap up. see what's in here oh this is perfect waking up to who you are requires letting go of who you imagine yourself to be and I also thought as well when I first glanced at this that letting go of who you used to be as well because it's that's what's going on here but you know what I like? I like that she's holding the, the photo album. It's like, you know, so this is the thing, like, so waking up to who you are requires letting go of who you imagine yourself to be or who you used to be. But it's like some parts of that can come with you. That's what I love about this card because this card is kind of, not saying like this card is saying break free of break away from your attachments okay so that that is to me that is this alan watts quote but this card has come to say don't get rid of everything there's there's going to be some stuff that you keep and it could be an old version of you it could be the dream you that you're yet to be even still it could be, you know, keep some of that. It's all right. Like, yeah, we don't have to get rid of absolutely everything. And I think that's probably impractical anyway. Sometimes with this transformational work, we can be quite hard on ourselves and we, we can kind of um, think that, oh, well, the outside world hasn't changed yet. I'm doing it wrong. It's like, whoa, whoa, we'll give it time. Like, you know. <laughs> Yeah, patience is a virtue. Yeah, I'm learning all about that. <laughs> I live in Saturn Mahadasha. It's all about patience. All right, let's take a look at this one. What's in here? Oh, this is so perfect as well. He who has a why to live for can bear almost anyhow. Nietzsche. Yes, and I think Viktor Frankl quotes this as well. And it's interesting. I have just started recently reading Man's Search for Meaning. I must admit, I don't get much time to read these days, but um, I'm trying to. And that is such a good book. The introduction is incredible. Um, but yeah, he's Viktor Frankl's a big fan of this quote as well. He who has a why to live for can bear almost anyhow. And I mean, that really is this card. And to me, that's what makes Earth School unique because I think this is the toughest of all the schools in the universe, so I've heard from all the 
alien type things I've listened to on the internet. Apparently this is like the toughest dimension and the souls that come to earth are extremely brave. And I think the ones who have the toughest experiences have the most earthly experience. Okay, so it, as I, I always give this example, I've done this in many pick a cards now, that when you fly to India, you don't just stay in a five, at, the, at the top of a five-star hotel and eat the hotel food and, and never go out. When you go to India, you go out onto the street and you meet a cow and you eat something, eat some street food and you put colors on each other and you wear what the locals wear. And then, do you know what? You will get sick a little bit. I do. When I go to India, I always get a bit sick. But that's part of going to India and that's like earth school. When you go to earth school, you don't just live in a bubble. You go and you have your heart broken and you lose your job and then, oh God, you haven't got any money and then, you know... And, and you, that's earth. That's like if all you do is have like a billionaire parent, and this happens to so many billionaire kids, they become really depressed because everything's taken care of for them. So what's the point? Like, what, you know, what, yeah. So it's our hardships that give life meaning. Um, and they become part of our success story of what we came to overcome. So it's like your, and look at your hardships here. It's small in comparison. Okay, your hardship is here. It's these three cards, okay? That's your hardship thing there. But look at the majority of the table is filled with good. So you've manifested and materialized so much good and heart and love and beauty and all this wonderful stuff. The suffering, it really is small. And when you meditate, and this is what I said in, I think it was a couple of, when was it? One of the monthlies or something. And I was talking about when you meditate, your aura expands. And when your aura expands, 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 the problem stays the same size, but because you're expanding so much, the problem is actually smaller. That's why we meditate. Okay, so, yeah, it's a great spread here, guys. This is beautiful energy. Enjoy what comes in the future. It's on its way to you. You're on your way to it. You're manifesting it. You're materializing it, however it works. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you, and I look forward to seeing you next time.